let's take a look at more cases of multiple authors. So here we have this case we kind of looked at, three authors, or we don't really know if it's three, it could be more than three, it could be three, four, five. Baron is the last name, Sabrina Alcorn. So this is the lead author, the first author. Surname, family name, Baron, Sabrina Alcorn. Alcorn is the middle name. The middle name we could just use A, period, that would be okay too. And in this case, we would use A period comma, because then we also have at all. We have more than just one author, at all. And so this at all means there's more authors. How many? We don't know. Period, comma, no space in there. Then one space, editors. This is this case where we're saying it's the editor. Agent of change, print culture studies after Elizabeth L. Eisenstein. So this is the name of, it's the name of the book, right? How do we know it's a book? Because it's not in parentheses, it's not in uh, quotations, it is in the italics, so we know that it must be a book, it must be the bigger container. University of Massachusetts Press, P meaning press, and then here we have a slash and Center for Public Library of Congress. Center for the Book, Library of Congress. What does this mean? This is just more information we've added here because when we look up into the front of the book, usually the front of the book, the very first page or second page, it tells us who made this book, where was it made, who was the publisher, and if this is the way they wrote it, then this is the way we copy it, right? Now, of course, we can use abbreviations like P for press or UP for university press or other abbreviations that are inside the MLA manual. However, the key point here is follow what is given by the publisher inside the title page of the book. And then we end with the year of publication, 2007. Let's look at another example. Holland Merlin and Rupert Hard Hart Davis editors. Okay, so what's this case? This case is two people, and remember if we have one person we must have the last and first name. If we have two people we must have the whole name. If we have three people we must use at all. And in this case what do we have? In this case we have just two people. So in MLA if you have two people you must list both people. However, Pay attention to how we write their names. The first person is last name first, Holland. First name, Merlin. We have a comma, A-N-D, A-N-D. You do not use the ampersand. This ampersand, whoops, let me write it over here. This thing here. Ampersand, no, you cannot use the ampersand. You must use A-N-D. So here we have our and. Now look what we have. Rupert Hart Davis. That's a person's name. Some people's English names can be written with the hyphen like that. That's okay. There is no comma here. Why is there no comma here? Because Rupert is the first name. Hart Davis is the last name. Let me say that again. Very confusing, right? Rupert is the first name, Hart Davis is the last name, the family name, the surname. Now, this is a reversal. It's very interesting in MLA, quite the opposite of APA. And it's easy to get confused because it looks like it's inconsistent. But pay attention, we'll follow the rule. For the first author, that is Holland Merlin, for the first author, you must use the last name first, then a comma, then you put the first name last. That comma there tells you that the name is reversed. Whenever you see a name and a comma, then another name, this is telling you that the last name is first and the first name is last. So that's the first author. What about the Second author. For second author, you use the conjunction and. 
And for the second author, you go ahead and you put the first name first and the last name last. And there's no comma. No comma. Because comma tells you the names are reversed. So, for MLA, you only reverse the names of the first author in the reference list. The second author, you write the name normally. First name first, last name last. And what about for three authors? Well, three authors are easy. Easy. The first name comes, the first author comes first, then you say et al. And that first author is last name first, first name last. Whoa, whoa, whoa. getting confused yet? Okay, so the MLA looks like it's got some inconsistency there, but actually it's pretty easy once you get the idea. It's only the first author that we reverse the names.